Welcome everyone to this month's Astro Coloscope. My name's Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com. So in the Astro Coloscope, we use three crystals that I've chosen from my crystal bag here. I throw those crystals into um, 12 houses to see which houses those crystals want to land in. And we're going to pick a colored bead from this bag here to see what color is a flavor for your month and we're going to take some other cards and colors as well just so we can get a full view of what's going to happen for you this coming August. So let's get started. Okay Sagittarius, so for you this month you get cinnabar in your third house. So this is cinnabar, it has these beautiful kind of little red dots in it, you see that? And um, it almost looks like a piece of nougat, like it's ready to eat. Well, this goes into your third house. This is a merchant stone. So it's a business energy. And third house is about communication and reaching out and communicating and teaching um, and connecting with with uh, networking with people. So as a merchant stone, on the one level, this is very much about connecting with work colleagues, um, connecting with business connections, um, teaching and education that links with your career. Uh, and you know, it could be online uh, education as well. But with the green, uh, with the white and the and the red that I'm looking at here, um, red is about trips. It's about action. It's about movement. So it could be that you're going to go on some little work trips, or you're going to travel a little bit further than you would do. Um, I also feel with the white energy that there could be some that you know like it might be vacation time for you at the moment and you could just be taking a little bit of an extended vacation or you know like an extended weekend so so where you'd normally be working on a Friday you might take Friday off and have the weekend off that kind of thing it just feels like there's little pieces it doesn't feel like there's a big piece here um, this going into your third house as well, I feel like there's something sweet that's coming up, some kind of communication that's coming up to say thank you. Um, feels like there's a kind of gratitude energy that's coming. And interestingly, I get this foreign energy that's coming as well, kind of a European sort of feeling to it. Um, of course, you might be in Europe thinking well, that's not very foreign, um, but it feels like that there's some kind of foreign connection that's that's coming up. It's like an a, an email that's coming from someone. I don't see it necessarily as a person that's physically present. It feels more like a message that's coming in, that's coming from overseas. Yeah. All right then, so um, our next stone is Unakite, and the Unakite is green and kind of a, a coral pink color, an orangey color, coral pink color. And this went into your seventh house. And the seventh house is, again, relationships. So this is love relationships. So what I feel with this is that you are working on relationships over this next month that you're gonna have some things to work out with friends and with lovers and with work colleagues as well. I get this sense of being a little bit at war with, with some of your, with some people around you. So at war doesn't necessarily mean, you know, something bad, um, but I, I feel like there's a little bit of um, frustration that's around your workplace or around people that you, you don't necessarily see um, all the time. So there are people that could also be in your community as well. There, there's some kind of connection to your extended community that's in this. Um, with Unakite, when I look at this, there's lots of little strands of, of deep green that come in. And, and with this orange energy as well, I, I feel like your finances may be a little bit stretched this month and to, just to watch it. And you might find that someone in your family is, is either having financial problems or they are gonna ask you for, for a loan. They're gonna ask you to help them out with a little bit of money. As, and they may not have financial problems, may just need a little bit of extra. Um, and it, there's a sense of this that you are willing to be of assistance, that you are willing to be of help, to support. 
Yeah, okay. Uh, it's interesting to me because it looks almost like a little picture. So when I'm looking at this, it looks like there's kind of the earth here and then there's a tree that's kind of grown up there. So I feel it's something you are going to plant a seed uh, in relationships. There's somebody that you're going to be connecting with in a relationship. Um, and it, it's almost like there's new growth around that relationship as well. Uh, yeah, it feels like it's someone you already know. So not not a new relationship. Um, the final stone that came up is Morganite, and the Morganite came in your tenth house. And your tenth house um, is that house of recognition and reward, and it, it's like your it's like your a persona in the world and how you're seen. And again, it links with your career as well. So with this pink energy, um, I get the sense of you getting together with work colleagues and and maybe uh, doing something for others or helping others or coming up with a new a new idea or, or a new way of doing something. Whatever it is, it feels like there's a group energy that's here. Um, Morganite as pink is the color of love. So it's something that you're doing that you ha are very passionate about and that you love. And it could just be very simply that it's about the environment and you, you're getting a, a bin that will, will be for recycling. Um, whatever it is, it feels like it connects to your work, it connects to your community, it connects, again, to people that are extended, that, uh, that are around you. And you are going to receive uh, recognition for this, for whatever it is you're going to do. I'm just getting a sense of if there's anything else that wants to come up from this. Um, it looks like a tooth, so um, make sure you floss your teeth this month because there might be some dental stuff going on there as well, so a little bit of sensitivity. We all get sensitivity, don't we? So it's not necessarily just the message for you. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's a little bit of sensitivity around your mouth, around your teeth. So um, let's, oh my goodness, I nearly forgot the little bead, didn't I? So we have a little bead that came up, which is an uh, Alexandrite and this is it's violet it's lilac and then in the light it kind of turns blue or the other way around um, so with this it's saying that your guardian angels are with you this month and um, that you're being looked after so no matter what happens your guardian angels are always with you but they're gonna be with you and showing you messages and they're gonna send you a feather or a, or a, a coin or they're gonna have somebody talk to you about angels that kind of thing so notice the angelic energy that's coming up for you um, I also feel with that that it's about confidence as well that um, whatever it is that's happening around your work and this little accolade it's going to build your confidence up and, and kind of fluff your feathers up a little bit so you're going to feel good about that so let's see what extra color you get you get green so green is um, a color of abundance and of the heart. Um, I, I get this sense that it's connected with your family and that there's some family event like a picnic or something like this that, that feels, it, it's almost like you feel relaxed and you feel good and you need to remember that event that time when you feel good about yourself and when you feel good in that environment and take that into your work environment and into other places in your life and when you may not be feeling quite as good. So let's pick a card for you. Let's see what what card wants to come up for you. This is the Voyager deck. So when we pick a card, take a look and see um, what image on that card um, is attracting you this this card says death on it this is a change this is transition look at the card and see what piece of that card you are attracted to and then ask what the message is so when I look at this card I see that little star that's up there in the corner and and I feel almost as if it's about following your star following your dream that the way to follow your dream is just to let go of the past and then move into the future 
So we see all this, you know, death is about a transition, about change. And so you are going through change. There is some change that's coming up and the green energy is about that change as well. We're always going through change. But I feel with this that it's very much about following that star and about making a wish and then allowing that wish to come to you. But to let go of all the negative stuff that could be the yeah buts that could get in the way and just allow yourself to be embraced by the energy of that star and to receive your heart's desires. Okay, so that's it for this month's Astro Coloscope. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do leave a comment below and share it with your friends if the messages resonate for you. They may well resonate for them as well. Do check my website, sealwithlove.com. And of course, you know I make lots of colorishes gifts. You'll find them in my store.sealwithlove.com. And if you want to um, have a deeper color reading then check my website the guidance section of my website you'll find lots of different consultations and one way that is very special and unique that you can connect with color is to have a soul rainbow silk made for you i will make this for you with your own soul colors that i tune into you can find out more about that on my website and in my store Lots of colorishes blessings to you. See you next month. Bye.